Like right now, you and I are sitting mm. on the San Andreas Fault. And if it goes off, if an earthquake happens right mm. now, don't worry. Okay. I will not save you. Good. Good to see you. The last time I was Xena. Dude, that was so <laughs> funny. Yes, 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 yes. Hercules. Yours is, go ahead. Yes, mine is. Yeah, you make a good looking woman. I remember that. Thank you that. very much. <laughs> I think that's a compliment, right? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> of course. People need to know that the shaking is not over. We'll get hit again. And it's going to be a bigger monster. I've been You have been to the screening yesterday, the 4D. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah. How was it? It was awesome. I'd never seen a movie in 4D, and, and uh, it, was, it was an experience, for sure. First of all, the movie plays great in 4D because it's all the elements. Mm. It's wind, rain, yeah. uh, tsunami, you know, <laughs> helicopter, parachuting out, airplanes, earthquakes. So it, it's a movie that is tailor-made for a 4D experience, but it also inspired me because I started to think, well, what other movies do I have that we are developing now mm -hmm. that will be amazing, Good. yeah, for 4D. Normally in a catastrophe movie, we expect like the whole world going down or aliens come down and destroy everything. I pitched that, they didn't want it, but I was like, can we do aliens? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but maybe that could be a good call the sequel. for San Andreas, the sequel. The sequel, San Andreas, San Andreas the two. aliens are here. <laughs> so why San Andreas fault and why Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Well, okay, the second, <laughs> the second part of that question is really because it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson and uh, you know I've obviously worked with Dwayne before. We have a great working relationship. He's the first call b when you do a movie like this. And then in terms of why you know San Andreas, the idea of doing um, a movie like this, the, 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 the ground moving is a scary concept because mm -hmm. we just trust that it won't move. And mm -hmm. um, the other, the other thing about it is that, you know, the, the largest earthquake ever recorded was a 9.5, and so we're, we're depicting what a 9.6 would look and feel like. You have reference, but you have to then use your imagination and go, well, how bad could it really get? Hmm. And, um, you know, it's just an interesting way into to a disaster movie. So how happy uh, have you been when you heard, like, uh, Carla Gugino is going to be your wife and uh, Alessandra D'Addario your daughter? <laughs> I see where you're <laughs> yeah. like, mm. Both of them are tremendous actresses, you know, and, and uh, so I've known Carla for some time. We've worked together in the mm. past. But Alex, the women in our movie are not damsels in distress, right? They're strong women. They're strong chicks yes. who kick ass. With Alex's role, you couldn't get the 19-year-old girl. You could have tried, but also you had to, it, it had to be someone who had still had that experience in that mm. DNA. So I think Alex... Look, I'm lucky, are you kidding me? One is my ex-wife and the other one is my daughter. You both had a casting for San Andreas. How does a casting for an earthquake movie look like? Do you have to, like, to show your earthquake face or a move? Or how does it look? <laughs> uh, I, I, you know what, when I did, when I screen tested with Dwayne for this, I did have the moment where I had to react um, it's so funny, I forgot this, but where I had to react when, when I'm on the phone with him and the earthquake hits. And it did feel like the hardest moment of the scene in a room where nothing was happening. Hi, everything okay? I wanted to tell you I was sorry for how I acted yesterday. No way, really. No, Emma. 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 <laughs> I will never do that again. <laughs> Um, I think I, I had scenes, uh, if I remember correctly, that were like post-earthquake. Um, I don't believe I had to fake uh, um, fake being in an earthquake. So they just trusted that I would be able to do it. <laughs> do you think it's uh, like a general fear in California of this San Andreas fault? I, I mean, I think there's a really, there's a real fear in, in um, people who live in California about the fault going off. There's a saying now that the, that the fault is locked and loaded because mm -hmm. it's, it's overdue. Mm -hmm. So people think about it. I think it's there, um, in, you know, in, in a real way. So while shooting San Andreas, is there something you, you learned? Yes, I learned how very real the pending danger of San Andreas of the San Andreas fault is. So mm -hmm. we've all heard about San Andreas uh, and earthquakes, but mm -hmm. once you get into it and you start making the movie and then you have, you work with these scientists who they are the, the, the top scientists in the world mm -hmm. who are earthquake scientists and seismologists who 
pour over the script and say everything that you guys are shooting in the movie is very plausible. Mm -hmm. This could happen. And so when you get that from a scientist, it's, it's scary because you realize, again, just how real and how powerful Mother Nature is. Like, you know, you and I, were on the ground here and we think it's solid, and mm -hmm. it is. But when Mother Nature decides it's not, the earth crumbles and it cracks open and it shakes and then there's the earthquake. And like right now, you and I are sitting mm -hmm. on the San Andreas Fault right now. And if it goes off, if the earthquake happens right mm -hmm. now, don't worry. Okay. I will not save you. Good. Yes. I've heard you saved the girl. Yeah, so. <laughs> you would too. <laughs> of See? course. Yes. I would actually try to save myself first, <laughs> but of course the girls. <laughs> What I like is that your characters are not like female victims who can do anything. So are there any do and don'ts as a female action hero? You know, I think that's a difficult question because I feel like, I feel like one of the things that I found about this character and about playing these sort of strong women is that I've felt in my life very vulnerable and weak. I never really felt like I'd be able to be in a position of power or leadership. And I found as my careers progressed, I found myself becoming more of a leader and stronger. And I think that even if you're strong, you still have vulnerabilities and weaknesses and they sort of exist together. Um, so I think that the danger is you can fall into a trap of, of playing, you know, just you know, you're either strong mm -hmm. or you're weak. And I think that yeah. that's not authentic. Yeah, I think a lot of also people, women, when they're portraying something strong, take on the worst characteristics of male characters. Men have many great qualities, but I think what's interesting is to see a woman fully be a woman and also be heroic. So do you have some advice for me to become a German uh, action hero? Well, for you, yes, right? you need to shave your head. You okay. need to go bald. Okay. Okay, yeah, write that down. Okay, yes. Okay. Not your balls, your head. Uh, <laughs> right, on your head. Are you saying the whole San Andreas fault might go off? Everybody down! Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. that you always do a playlist when you do a project. What was on your playlist for San Andreas? Oh, wow, I do, it's true. Um, I, had some, I had some Jack Black on there. Um, I had some Cat Power because I always love her. Um, I have a pretty eclectic uh, taste in music. Um, I'm trying to, you know what's so funny is I listen to it every day when I'm doing something and then I kind of forget it. Mm -hmm. It sort of was meant for her, for Emma somehow, mm -hmm. yeah. So no Shake It Off from Taylor Swift or something? No, I did not do any earthquake themes. I listened themed. to a lot of Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, I, did, I did not do any earthquake themes. Just as songs. Alex D'Addario. <laughs> do you have a message to the people why they should go out and see San Andreas? Yeah, my thing with it is that when you go to a movie like this, of course you expect spectacle. Mm. You expect the buildings to collapse and the explosions to go off and the awesome action sequences. And, but what you're not expecting is the emotion mm -hmm. and the story of a family trying to put itself back together and the love stories that are happening in the movie. If you want all the natural disaster and destruction, you're going to get it. <laughs> If you want a real emotional experience, you're also going to get that. Let me see a mean look like. Uh, mean, mm, no, no, mean, mean no, no, the other one. Mm. That's good, It's good. The eyes? Oh, you're, you're, you do bi. Uh, both, yes. You are bi. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not seeing her anymore. <laughs> Why do we love uh, Dwayne Johnson? Why do we not? How, is there anything we don't love about Dwayne Johnson is the question. Uh, he, muscles. Exactly. He, he's really multi-talented. I mean, he sings also, for God's sake. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he's such a generous partner to act with. Uh, and he's a, a real leader and a real collaborator and a real student. He's a teacher and a student. He's, he's sort of, you know, someone who doesn't function from ego and is in, uh, just really fun to work with. Yeah, he struck me as being incredibly um, genuine and godlike, both at the same time. This, this is going to go like, to his head. You like, have to stop saying the godlike. I know, I keep saying that, but it's <laughs> no, true. I mean, like, but he's so, he's, so, he's so human, but at the same time, he embodies these sort of incredibly... Um, kind and genuine qualities. And I think that that was just really impressive. And then the next thing you got to do is you got you have to deliver mm -hmm. uh, like an action hero line. Okay, like here, let's try this. 
You gotta say, daddy's gotta go to work. Daddy's gotta go to work. Mm. Maybe in German? In German, but, but, but tougher, like a man would okay. say. Der Papa muss jetzt zur Arbeit. When you like this, mm. it shouldn't like that. Okay. You can't, daddy's gotta go to work. Not okay. like that, no, like keep it like that. Okay. Daddy has to go to work. Yes, but less, less femme, more, more okay. man. Like this, put some gravel in, daddy's <clears throat> gotta go to work. Daddy's gotta go to work. Mm. That's too Batman, right? It's too Batman, yeah, Batman too creepy, too creepy. Too creepy. Just say it like a woman. Let me hear you say it like okay. a woman. Daddy has to go to work. You know what, dude? You got dude, it. That's the one. That's the one for you. Just like that. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Daddy has to go to work. Daddy's got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. The earth will literally crack open. And you will feel it on the East Coast.